Badra. In Hinduism, the word Badra refers to multiple deities, the wife of Kubera, Chandra's daughter, Krishna's wife, sister of Krishna, and Balapadra, a mountain, and a companion Ashtanaika of goddess Durga. Kubera's wife. Badra, also referred to as Yakshi, Chavi, Ridai, Manurama, Nidhai, Sahibi, and Kuberi, is the goddess of auspiciousness, described as the wife of demigod, Kubera. She was a daughter of the Asura named Mira. Badra and Kubera had three sons named Nalakubara, Managriva, and Meuraja, and a daughter named Minakshi. Later she moved to Alkapuri with her husband after Ravana invaded and captured Lanka, which is present-day Sri Lanka. Chandra's daughter is daughter Herfer. In another account, Badra is a daughter of Chandra and was married to a sage named Utathi. The god Varana, who had formerly been enamored of her, carried her off from Utathi's hermitage and would not give her up to Naroda, who was sent to bring her back. Utathia, greatly enraged, drank up all the sea, still Varana would not let her go. At the desire of Utathia, the lake of Varana was then dried up and the ocean swept away. The saint then addressed himself to the countries and to the river Saraswati, disappear into the deserts, and let this land, deserted by them, become impure, after the country had become dried up. Varana submitted himself to Utathia and brought back Badra. The sage was pleased to get her back, and released both the world and Varana from their sufferings. Krishna's wife, Krishna's wife if. Vadra is one of the Ashtabharya, the eight principal queen consorts of Hindu god Krishna, according to the scripture Bhagavata Purana. She is named in the Bhagavata Purana as being the eighth wife of Krishna, and identified as being his cross not parallel cousin, her mother being a sister of his father. The Vishnu Purana and the Haravamsa refer to her as the daughter of Drishtaketu or the princess of Kekai. Vyushitas was wife. Vadra or Vadra was the daughter of Kakshabet and the wife of Puru king Vyushitaswa. When her husband died, leaving no sons, she intended of killing herself to follow her husband to the land of death. But at this moment an incorporeal voice said her to have intercourse with the corpse of her husband on the eighth and fourteenth day of the moon. She followed the guidance and after the Kente menial bath, she had intercourse with the corpse, as a result of which were born seven sons, four madras, and three salwas. Equals equals references equals equals equals.